bit of the missions are in areas. We are not doing up to even 30% coverage uh, audit of foreign missions. Because what is usually provided under international travels, all that survey that's supposed to fund that, is usually very highly controlled. And uh, usually overhead, even during the review, downward review, that figure was equally seen. Sir, what is the state of what, what is the state of 2018 and 2019 auditor uh, your report? What is the state of your report for 2018, 2019 financial year? Why have you not laid it before the parliament? Sir, the from the handing uh, from the handing over note given to me, I am told that uh, the it is stated that 20, 2018 part one was concluded and issued. And uh, that is a statement made in the handing over note. No one has been able to show, show to us the issued or concluded and issued part one. But as for the part two, the, 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 the team working on it will soon finalize and that is the situation, sir. So you have, never, you have not started 2019? 2019, we, on Friday last week, we received a communication from uh, Accountant General's office forwarding uh, the 2019 to us. So that is the position. Just it was received last Friday. And without having the final accounts of the Accountant General, you can proceed. You can proceed, sir. So uh, my leaders, did you hear this now? A very critical consumer body is being underfunded. Even in front allocation of the budget, the Director General Budget Office has intentionally, deliberately, underfunded the Office of Auditor General so that he, will be, he won't be able to discharge his duty and uncover all the illegal criminal activities looting going on in the country. On what basis will you be funding agencies that have no value to the economy? at the detriment of the general office. From the presentation of the general, it's, it's understaffed. He needs over 600 workers. He needs over 600 workers. It will interest you that the entire Zamfara state has just one staff. What staff is Amara State? How do we run a country like this? Even in the 2020 budget, the Auditor General is struggling. His funds are yet to be released to him 100%. There are critical activities of the Office of Auditor General aside financial auditing. We have program auditing, we have project auditing, value for money. But the Auditor General is unable to do all this because it's underfunded. So we have resolved to invite the Minister of Finance, the Director General of the Office, a Canadian General of the Federation, Head of Service, and Chairman of Federal Civil Service Commission to cause appearance before this committee. One, to find out why the Director of Budget has refused to fund the Director General's Office in the areas of personal cost. They have no functional vehicles. Personnel of other agencies that you expect the general to go and audit head better than staff of the general's office.
And this is a very critical office agency that we need to wage war against corruption in the land. We will continue to escalate this matter until it gets to the hearing of Mr. President that Auditor General Office is grossly underfunded. There is no government that has put in place programs for youth empowerment, training and development. But all the funds allocated for these programs can the Auditor General trace and track them without personnel, without equipment, so as to ensure value for money? There's a layer of agencies that you ask Auditor General to go and audit and better than the personnel of Auditor General. To the extent that Nigerian youth, younger ones, are not even interested in going to work with Auditor General. They prefer to go to NCC, they prefer to go to uh, paramilitary agencies, CBN, FIRS, just because working with Auditor General Office, you cannot earn a living wage.